Enola Badmos TV Entertainment without bad. Uh, Ninja FM. So we're both. I was on the morning show. He was on the morning show. So every day of the week, we're always running to each other. But one thing that's, and that's way before I even got married. I think it's one of the first few guys that actually, like I said before, there are very few people that would actually get me out of my my comfort zones. I love. You know, I stick to um, schedule and do stuff the way I, I like to do it. So, um, one thing I'll say about Osh is that Osh is a stand-up guy. Osh should tell you as it is, and Osh should constantly go out of his way for his people. That's what I would say. If, you, if you're in the pickle and you say, okay, Osh, this is what I'm trying to do. I, I think you've thought it before. How do, you, how do you suggest I go through this stuff? You won't even say, oh, because I've achieved something. I don't want you to achieve it. He will let you know. So um, that's why we've been friends for close to like 10 years. Uh, he stopped being my colleague on the radio like two years ago. And he, speaks, he still speaks to the quality of our friendship that we still talk, we still catch up, and we're still guys and we're still buddies. So I'll be giving uh, select people opportunities to actually come and say a thing or two as regards at the man that we're celebrating today, as opposed to Shane. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together right now for the man of the moment, Osh Baby. So, um... Uh, so, uh, I would like to start with OTB. If OTB, yeah, OTB, please, can you just come up to where I'm standing right now? I'm very surprised you have a suit. You do, Chris. Uh huh. They're talking to your management staff in the office. I will send you a query in the morning. You don't reach 40. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for OTV as the case starts uh, this round of comments that we're going to be having about who we're celebrating today. Uh, that is Oshberg. So, once again, good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. My name is OTB. And of course, uh, we are all gathered here tonight to celebrate our friend and brother, Justice Wagbe, popularly known as Osh Bebe. And uh, I think it's a real privilege to be called upon to speak and say a few things about my friend. Uh, where do really you want to start from? Okay. So first, uh, Osh Bebe and I were cosmates at the Delta State University at Raqqa, where we both studied theater arts. So Osh was my course mate, and later became my roommate, and later became my housemate after we graduated from the university, later became my colleague because we worked together first with AY, and uh, later on we worked together at Niger FM 102.7. Moving forward, uh, we got married about the same time. That was in 2013. I was his best man, and he was my best man. I thought you were going to, I think at that time I would take him So all these English words are speaking now, so I don't even start. So, um, that's, that little history I just uh, brought forward was to let you know how far we have come. Now, talking about the man, Osh Bebe. He's a man with guts, he's, he is tenacious, and I'll always say that he is the purest and clearest example of a goal-getter. Osh never says no to anything. If he wants to achieve it, he goes for it, and he's always achieving it. In fact, Osh is an achiever. And uh, I think it's with great pleasure that I want to say a very big happy birthday to you, my man, Justice Mabe, Osh Bebe. So today you are seeing 40. Um, we are praying that you are going to see 50. Say amen. You are going to see 60. Say amen on his behalf. You are going to see 70. You are going to see 80. You are going to see 90. You are going to see 100. I don't know whether I see 100 or 10. But whatever the case is, I wish you more blessings, more life. God bless you real good. Uh, where you learn all this English from? All right, um, what am I going to say? They showed me, I don't understand the talk. Where else really? You know, I remember in 2011, towards the end of 2011, I 
I've been on Nigeria FM for about a year. We just celebrated our anniversary. One of those days, they just opened the studio. Door just opened on this side. On this side, the just walk ahead and say, Ah, God will. we be working with this guy. I said, I know this guy now. This guy, he looked like that guy that do a AY show for TV. He said, Yes, Nahim, Nahim. So that's how they brought us with me to come and join me on the radio. Uh, you know? I remember those times the they pinched me by the side when I could talk. I said, Calm down. <laughs> you talk tired. You know, one week, two weeks, I never still talk. I'm fast, I say, Calm down. You know? And then when we started talking, I mean, the rest is history. Your baby is actually the funniest human being I've seen on radio. I think you should clap for him. If you ever heard us on radio, I mean, that was when we came up with the idea of us really the artist. And you guys see all the time on the stage, on radio, all the way is funny. And my own sense of humor it, it improved drastically working with us, baby. So uh, he worked with us from 2011 to, when was it really 2019. <laughs> I think we left, I think 2019, yeah. He left 2019, and since then, I mean, all, all, this one, your daddy 16, we just did on Sunday. I've been a part of every single year, daddy, from your daddy 1 to 16. I remember when we were coming up with the concept, and like, no fear, do one, you come here, and all that time. From then, I remember where us oh, used to stay, somewhere in Bagada, one house like that, we completely always stay every day. You know, from then to where he is now, I'll give you people I know like, you know, he's one of the best comedians in the East and It's been a privilege knowing him. He's a brother, he's a friend, he's funny, he's creative. What I love most about him is my sense. How do you make your sense? God. How do you make your sense? I remember when I was planning my show some time ago, 2018. I was like, after I looked at the whole plan, he said, God, you come, come, come. I know, say, you want. That's when I was celebrating my 40th and like, I don't say you won't give out one million to somebody, but all these upcoming artists, but if you still make money, I should give out one million. You know, and so he told me one or two things, I put them in place, and as they give out money, I they make more. You understand? I know some very powerful people today because of us, baby. Very influential, solid man. We were real. Shout out to you. All the chairmen that are waiting here. So I want to say happy birthday to us. Um, I thought he just turned so hard. Like I was joking with him like on Sunday. <laughs> in Nigeria, the, the life expectancy is 55. So as if we get like 15 more years. <laughs> and I joke, don't worry, we'll leave each 90. I don't know when I go each 100, but happy birthday, bro. God bless you. God keep you. It's been a privilege knowing you. And of course, like I said, he's the funniest, funniest man I've known on radio. This guy is so proud, but he's a junior colleague because he's a promoter and the program director of BTFM. If he sees me in the morning, he will say, so you can't be the program director. I say, I'll still be your senior colleague. Even though you <laughs> have touch your car. Thank you very much. Ten. Management emails. So you're my junior colleague. If we did access bank, you're going to buy me bread. Steady. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my hands together for Gordon right now. That's absolutely amazing. Okay, so, uh, like I said before, everybody has something absolutely amazing to say about Osh Baby. And like I said before, uh, he's a stand-up guy. And uh, we just, like I said, we just want to keep this moving. Uh, is Tomama here? Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together for Tomama. Say what? What? Okay, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, okay. <laughs> um, Osh is a is a boss, a dear friend, and a colleague. At first, when I first met him, not like him because he embarrassed me, for sure. <laughs> they say go find out from the owner of the show when you they perform. I mean, I just go meet her. Good evening, sir. My name is Tomama. I'm supposed to perform your daddy for a reader time. Now you look at me from up to time, uh, head to toe. And what you have So she will go into my body, but then, afterwards, I'm not ever like her for the industry. If I see you post, I will swipe. I'm not concerned. Until 
um, my radio days, thanks to uh, Osh. My mother they shake that type of radio. If I don't do pay things, so waiting down. Shout where other people wanted to feel you. You get so after then we became friends. He became a mentor, a father, a brother, and many more. I don't say you get best for me. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so I just want to say I appreciate all you do in my life personally. I love you. Yes. And I know you love me too. <laughs> Thank you. One <laughs> o'clock now. I just told you this before. A million foods. I am from Benin. I am a Benin woman. I think I want to wake up the Benin people here before I say anything about my son in law. Baby Jesus Christ, amen. Okay. Amen. Baby Jesus Christ, amen. Hey, baby, I'm Bobo Kianua. Hey, I'm Nogi Tuwa. Oh, you're a yaga suwa bo. Igo na amana oh, hey, yaga suwa bo. Ekbe rame na ukwe be no. Hey, yaga suwa bo. I'm happy that you are my son-in-law. You have done many things that I don't want to even mention here because if I mention it, people will just be jealous. Congratulations, my dear. God will forever bless you. God will forever honor you. Many blessings are yet to come in your life. You will live to see your children's children. My husband is also here. I don't know why they didn't call his name. They are calling my name. He is supposed to be the head of my house. My peace, you people will call him after me. So that I will come and bless the son in law. My hello, sir. Andrew Abontai, peace, you are wanted here. <laughs> Mommy, you. Hush, baby. I love you and I will continue to love you. Thank God that you are my son in law. Uh, to Mama, you didn't come and visit me or you didn't come and say hello. Oh, to Mama, how are you? <laughs> how are you? How are you? God bless you, Pele. Sabon, this is my son-in-law. And from today, you are the first of my home. Until tomorrow, he's doing everything great in my life. My, fa my husband's life, my family life. We all love him. My children, they all love him. Thank God for your life, my dear. You are blessed and honored. Ladies and gentlemen, what a glorious day we have. Uh, what do we say to the wonderful boy for God's baby? Everybody call him God's baby, but I call him justice. So that he begins to know that he's a man and that uh, he represents whatever he means by way of justice in our lives. I want to welcome everybody here today. I want to thank you all for coming to grace this occasion. Uh, we want to give all the glory to God for making our son-in-law uh, a great one among his peers in the society. I have said this before. Uh, what they say to the popular thing they say is that a fool at 40 is a fool forever. But I want to thank God that my son-in-law has achieved so much even before 40. And it is a, a wish for God to continue to continue to bless him, to give him more, to achieve much more, especially a good health, wisdom, knowledge, and uh, for him to give him the grace to see his children, children, to surround his table. And uh, these are many more blessings we we'll wish from our God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Thank you all for welcoming. It's finished. We got talk. Hello, Congo. Are you there? 
it's it's finished me a couple of four or five minutes alone. Uh, no, that is, is my partner called that night is me all. Uh, so uh, please alternate sound is be on standby. Because for my life, I don't really like to sit down. I'm not really talk about them. I'm not really talk hello. Oh, see. By the time we go, people will go to start sleeping for you.
Look 